In this presentation, I'm going to be speaking about quasi-experimental research. So quasi-experimental research or design is a method used to understand and evaluate the effectiveness of an intervention policy or treatment. It is typically used in field settings in which random selection for either control or experimental groups is difficult or impossible. So, for example, in education settings such as schools, where withholding an intervention for some groups of pupils and not others is not appropriate or ethical. It is important to note that there are many different types of quasi-experimental design methods. However, I will be discussing one of the most common types and the one that I have used in my research, which is called the pre-test, post-test design. In a pre-test, post-test design, the de dependent variable or effect is measured once before the treatment is implemented and once after it is implemented. So, for example, as part of one of the research studies that I worked on, we wanted to measure the effectiveness an educational hand hygiene intervention had on young children's understanding of germs and hand washing. To do this, we developed a worksheet for children to complete in order to measure their baseline knowledge before the intervention. We then carried out the intervention and then immediately after the intervention, the children completed an identical post intervention worksheet. The marks or the scores for each child and each question on the post intervention worksheet were then compared to their pre intervention worksheet in order to measure any change in understanding as a direct result from the intervention. Because the worksheet was compared directly after the workshop, it was then possible to measure the impact of the intervention alone. So this was just a very brief introduction to quasi-experimental design. And as I explained before, there are many different types of quasi-experimental design methods. So if this is something that does interest you and you'd like to look into further, some of the resources on the screen would be a good place to start. Thank you for watching.